Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Question says we have determined whether the relation defined by from set A we have Rxy where 3x minus y is equal to 0 holds true. This relation is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. The first thing we have to do is we have to first find the elements. That is the first thing. If we can jot down the elements that will be part of this set because R will be nothing but a subset of A cross A. To do this, let's put the value of x to be 1, 2, 3, keep on doing it. So we'll get some values of y. So if you put x equal to 1, 3x minus y is equal to 0 or you get y is equal to nothing but 3x, x is equal to 1, y is how much? 3 into 1, 3. If you put x is equal to 2, what do you get y? y is 2 into 3, 6. Similarly, if you put x is equal to 4, you will get y as nothing but 3 into 4 that is 12 I missed x equal to 3 so let me put that if you put x equal to 3 you get y is equal to 3 into 3 that is 9 this you got x is equal to 3 into 2 that is 6 and this you got 3 into 1 that is if we put x equal to 5, you get y is equal to 3 into 5, that is 15. And 15 is not part of this set because the number maximum is 1 to 14. So if, if you put x equal to 6, you get y is equal to 18, that is also not part of the set. So this is the maximum value of x that we can have for the element to be in this set. So the element in this set will be x comma y, that is 1 comma 3. 1 comma 3, 2 comma 6, the next element, 4 comma 12, the next element, 3 comma 99 is next element, 5 comma 12 is not there. So only 4 elements are there as part of this relation. So relation has 4 elements, 1 comma 3, 2 comma 6, 4 comma 12 and 3 comma 9. Now, the first question is whether the set is reflexive or not. For reflexive, I told a comma a should exist. That is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4 like this. So if you see 1 comma 1 is not there in this. 2 comma 2 is not there. None of this is there. So we can say that it is not reflexive. Correct? So it is reflexive, I will say. For symmetric, I told if a1 comma a2 is there, a2 comma a1 has to be there. Then only it is symmetric. So if you see 1 3 is there, but 3 1 is not there. Correct? For symmetric, I told a1 a2 is there. That implies a2 a1 should be there. But what we have observed is 1 3 is there, there, but 3 1 is not there. So it is not symmetric. Correct? It is not even symmetric. The third is transitive. For transitive, as I showed you, the boy was moving from point A to B and then from A B to C. So I showed that if A1, A2 is there and A2, A3 is there, this should imply A1, A3 should be there. Correct? So if you see here, we take 1, 3, and 3, 9, then one pair we got. So you take 1, 3 and 3, 9. So with this implies 1, A1 is this one and A3 is this one. So you get 1, 9 should be the implied value. So 1, 9 should be there in part of this set. But if you see, 1, 9 is not there. 1, 3 is there, 3, 9 is there, but 1, 9 is not there. Since 1, 9 is not there, we can say that this set is not even transitive. So what we have seen, we have seen that this relation is not transitive, 
not symmetric, not like this. So what is the approach you followed? The first thing we did was based on this relation 3x minus y is equal to 0 and from this set we got the elements in this relation. Once we have the four elements in this relation it is very easy to find where the relation is reflexive, symmetric and positive. Let's check one more example. In this we have determined if the relation is again reflexive, symmetric or transitive or not. The relation is defined as set of natural number r. In this the relation is y is equal to x plus 5 where x is less than 5. So if you see natural number, natural number starts from 1, it goes to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till infinity. Correct. Now the relation r is defined as x comma y and the value of x can be less than 4. So the value of x is 1, 2 and 3. Only 3 possible value of x because this all values are greater than or equal to 4. So I have x can have 3 values. So I will say 1 comma 2 power my 3 comma. And y? What is the value of y? y is nothing but x plus 5. So x is equal to 1. Y is nothing but 1 plus 5, that is 6. So this becomes 6. X is equal to 2, Y becomes 2 plus 5, that is 7. And X is equal to 3, Y becomes 3 plus 5, that is 8. So I got these three pairs in this relation. So this relation has three elements 1, 6, 2, 7, and 3, 5. First part is done. Now, I have to find whether it is reflexive. For reflexive, I told what? Reflection is nothing but mirror. So for reflexive, a comma a element should be there. That is 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4. All the elements should be there. But if you see 1 comma 1 is not there. So it is not reflexive. Correct? This is not reflexive. For symmetric, I told you symmetry. You imagine uh, leaves. The flip thing works, that is, if a1, a2 exist, this should imply, a2, a1 should also exist. So if you see 1, 6 is there, but 6, 1 is not there. If you see 1, 6 is there, but 6, 1 is not there. Since 6, 1 is not there, we can say that it is not even symmetric. So symmetric also ruled out. The third option is transitive. For transitive what I told, if a1, a2 there, a2, a3 is there, this implies that a1, a3 is also there. So let's take one scenario, 1 comma 6, 6 comma something, 6 comma something itself is not there. 1 comma 2, 2 comma 7, we are not able to make the pair itself. Correct. So we can say that it is not transitive. It is not even transitive. Because for transitive, 1 comma 6 is there, then 6 comma some number should exist and, and then 1 comma n should also exist, but that is not there. So we can say that it is not even transitive. So what we have done? Very simple. The first thing we did was we just got the elements in this relation. We got that there are three elements in this relation. And then once we have the element in the relation, we can easily find whether it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.